Okay, I was asked if there was a way to have stored print jobs release automatically when somebody walked up to the machine and logged in. And there is a way to do that, so it's a several step process. I thought I'd just make a quick video. The first step, go to the device's web page, go ahead and log in. And then you're going to have to create custom folders for each user. Uh, and that's done under Document Operations, and then Custom Folder. So I've created one here called Colin. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it except for uh, you name the folder and then you tell it which user belongs in the folder. So this will be your user list. <coughs> so just choose the corresponding user, click Submit. Uh, you, to add a new one, just click Add here, name the folder, tell it which user, click Submit. And once you've done that, you can go to User Control and Default Settings and check this box right here that says Automatically Print Stored Jobs After Login. Click Submit. And then you need to do on your user list open up each individual user, scroll down to the bottom of the page and change their their folder to the custom folder that you created. You click browse, choose their folder, hit OK, and then make sure you submit it. Now once you've done all this, you need to tell their print driver where to send those jobs. So just go to the Sharp printer that you're using, right click, go to Printing Preferences, open the job handling tab click check the retention box here and you can have it assign a password to files if you like or you can just tell it uh, which which folder you want it stored to and this will be your list of custom folders tell it this one hit OK apply that now every time this user prints it will go to uh, the, their custom folder on the machine and when they log in at the machine it will release whatever print jobs are being stored in there currently and it should give you the option to either print and delete or print and save which is just basically keeping it on the hard drive uh, if you have any other questions we have a ton of how to's at equipmybiz.com click the link below for more information